What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and I got another project. 500 subscribers, I am almost there. I'm almost there at 500 subscribers. I will be giving away stickers to five lucky subscribers. So hit that like button, subscribe. <laughs> So hopefully you all saw the thumbnail and yeah, I'm starting another project. So I am still working on the F-150 um, long-term winter project. I don't know if I'm going to be done before summer. I'm kind of hoping to, but I picked this thing up on Facebook Marketplace for I think it was like 40 bucks. I found two of them. Uh, another one, somebody was selling for like 55 bucks, and this one was like 40 bucks. So, just so you all know, this is not the high end version of the Cybertruck. This was, I think, this one was retailed for like 100 bucks. first came out it's the cheapy it's a cheapo cyber truck so I don't care and it did come complete it still brought the little cyber ATV whatever the hell it's called this cyber the ATV cyber ATV um, it brought that it did bring a controller as you guys can see here and here is the truck. Let me get this box out of the way. All right. So here it is, the cyber truck. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of the looks of the cyber truck. Boy, I was figuring how good can it be off road? The way it sits stock, like this, not so much. Like, really, not so much. So let's uh, turn this thing on. I believe it still has charge in it. So there we go. Lights are blinking. Turn on the controller, and see the lights. Let me turn this light off so you can see what the front looks like. So there we go. The light's there. You got the light in the back. So this, like I said, this is a cheap one. It does not have that thing that closes on here. Um, I'm thinking about doing something that I can roll to close it. Not sure yet. Probably, probably not. Cause I, I, I'm still working on the F-150 and I don't want to get too involved with this thing. So, but I don't know. I figured. Let me turn this back on. I figured, um, <laughs> what can I do with it? I, I, I was looking online and I saw it and I figured, hey, what can I do with it? Now, stock, this thing is horrible. So it does, I do not believe it has. So everything is not really proportional on it. So you go to steer it. This is a steering because I have it upside down. Or let's do it this way. So this is a steering and when I go to steer, so it does not have proportional steering. It is literally just turn left and turn right and that's it, that's all you got. Um, well, check this out. So it's on. Whoa. I don't want it to fall off the table. So this thing doesn't really have much power. So I'm going to hold that right there. I'm just going to accelerate. And tires should turn, but they're not going to. So check it out. Oh, look at that. 
It's struggling. Of course, if I lift up a little bit. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, but yeah, so I figured, what can I do with it? How can I get this to be somewhat of a trail truck? Well, that's where this comes into play. So I picked up WL Toys 14 for 001, I believe it is. Yep. Picked up this 14 for 001 buggy. And I figured I'm going to make this guy this guy. So, get where I'm going. Get where I'm going with this. 14401. <laughs> the 14401 buggy on this guy. So, again, like I said, I'm not going to get too into this thing. Uh, I just want to get it to run. Take it out. I think it would be a cool trail truck. Something different, you know? There's no uh, uh, axial or, who else? I, off the top of my head. Axial, Traxxas, uh, 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 Charisma. There's, n there's more, but there's no company out there that has made a crawler out of this thing. I figured, not really a crawler, but more of a trail truck. So I figured, why won't I try it? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's no point of showing how this thing drives, because this thing drives like a complete turd. It, compared to the hobby grades, this, this is literally, literally, toy great. Um, I have already, let me turn this off, but I have already open this thing up to see what it is all about and it is kind of disappointing to be frank my name ain't frank though so i'm gonna go ahead and take the bottom off of the body And I'm going to show you guys the reason why I decided to use the WL Toys. Why I decided to use the WL Toys 14.4.001 for this build. Just for the main fact that I do have a chassis that the wheels width, the width wise from here to here, is actually the exact width that I need to fit this body but there's a reason why I'm kind of not going that way and I'm going to show you guys why so taking off the body you do got to be careful because they got the uh, the lights so you got the lines right here for the lights running the fronts and the rears connected to the controller right there, that is the battery. The battery just stays in. Then there's a thing on the bottom here. There's a cable on the bottom that just goes, take this off. And of course you see, when you see a screw holding the battery door, you know for a fact that it's majority toy grade. So if I can get this thing out now, there we go. So, like I said, has a USB charger uh, that just connects to it. The main reason why I decided that I'm going to use a WL Toys 14.4.001 for this build is because I want to try to keep the same suspension, I guess we'll call it, of the. I try. I'm, I'm, I want to try to keep 
this thing looking the way the real true cyber truck would look. So the real true cyber truck is the bottom of it is completely flat because of all the batteries and everything that are going underneath. And it has swing arms on the front. And I don't want to pull too much because of the damn wires for the lights. And on the rear, it's all swing arms. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to get a car, the only car that I could think of that would work, that would give me enough ground clearance, is a buggy. So I figured, let me get a buggy, mount it onto here, and go that way. So that is one of the main reasons why I'm going to be using the WL Toys 14401 because of the swing arms. So that's where I'm going with this. So basically what I am going to be doing is reusing, I'm not even going to use the 14401 chassis. What I'm basically going to do is take everything out from in here, which is the front. So I'm going to be taking off this whole front end, this whole rear end, and putting the 14401 on here from what my measurements. So the me so the body measures at seven and a half wide. There we go. So the body from here to here measures at seven and, and a half inches wide. And the WL Toys 14401 measures from tire to tire measures in at eight inches. At least the rears do. Let me check. 14401. My first buggy actually, tell you the truth. This is actually my first buggy that I, uh, this style RC that I have. Um, so what I already did was I took the rear tires, I swapped the tires. So I put the rears on the front, the front on the rears. So width wise, this thing measure, comes in, measuring in at from wheel to wheel, eight inches. The body measures in at seven and a half. What I also came to find out, measures in at eight inches. The front is actually a little bit wider. No, it's the same thing. Eight inches, that's so big. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is basically take apart all of this and put it, mount it onto that. How well is this gonna work out? I don't know. If for some odd reason I can't get any of this stuff, because I'm gonna be using the suspension, because the suspension should work on here. Um, so it should work, but if for some odd reason I can't get this stuff to mount onto the stock chassis of the Cybertruck, my other plan is to get some carbon fiber panels, cut them out to the shape of the Cybertruck um, chassis, and mount the 14401 on there. The 14401 that I got is actually brushed. I kind of didn't want to go with a brushless version. Would have been cool. Seeing the Cybertruck doing like 50 miles an hour, but I decided to go with the brush version of the WL Toys, of this, four, excuse me, of this 14401. And the reason is because, again, I want to try to make that thing a trail truck. I'm going to start taking apart the cyber truck before I take apart this guy. Uh, going to start taking apart the cyber truck and I'm going to see what I will be able to do here. So, get wrenching.
That was easy. All right. So now the front end is off. And now I have just the chassis. So now what I'm going to do is, now that I figured out how that goes, I'm going to start, now that I figured out how that is, I'm going to start, uh, as you guys can see, it was a couple screws, was able to take everything out, now I just have the plain chassis. If this does not work, what I might have to do, what I might have to do is actually, I'm going to wind up buying a carbon fiber plate, trace this chassis out, and do my own thing. Either that, or I'm going to use this guy. So if you guys remember, I built this chassis for this body. But I'm kind of not loving this body too much. So I figured, So I figured I can use a chassis for this body if this doesn't work out. So I'm going to continue on wrenching on this thing and we'll see what I can come up with. All right, so here is my thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking, guys. So this is exactly what I'm thinking. And as once I center, so this is exactly what I'm thinking. Right on the chassis. I gotta figure out how I'm going to mount it on here, like that, and then just did like that. <laughs> somehow so that's going to be like that and then I'm going to grab the rear end and basically put it on the rear like this so some people might ask well why didn't you just get a longer the the longer the 10 scale WL toys well if I had gotten the 10 scale WL toys the swing arms are way too wide for the body and the chassis. So I went with the 14401, mostly for the main fact that it has a big 550 can brushed motor. So I'm not trying to do any speed runs with this thing. I'm just trying to get a nice trail truck, cyber truck, trail truck, cyber, cyber trail truck. I think so. Cyber Trail Truck. Yeah. I think that I think that's where I'm gonna go with that. Cyber Trail Truck. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking about doing with this thing. Um on the inside I might have to I don't know. I don't know. But on the inside here, what I might let me move this out of the way before it makes noises. I might have to take this whole area here. I might have to take that off. probably do something here in the center so when I go to put a drive shaft on which that's going to be my other thing that I got to figure out is the drive shaft because obviously the drive shaft for this guy is not going to be long enough so I'm gonna to have to figure out a drive shaft for this thing um, after I get the front axle the front diff front diff the front end there you go the front end after I get the front end put on and the rear end put on then I will be able to figure out how long of a uh, how long of a um, oh dang it <laughs> how long of a drive shaft I'm gonna need so I'm gonna have to play around and look around and see uh, what type of drive shafts I'll be able to use uh, the Basically, the way that the chest, the body is going to get mounted on the chassis is going to be by four screws only. So this thing actually brought, actually had two, four, six, 
eight screws, eight screws holding the body onto the chassis. I'm only going to use four. Two on the front, two on the rear. That's it. That's what it's going to need. I ain't going to need, man, I ain't going to need none of all that other screws. It's going to work. Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to work. So, I'm going to keep continuing on, continuing on, wrenching and seeing. Um, I'm going to take the rear end off of this chat uh, off of the chassis and I'm gonna put it on here um, and I'm gonna see how this is gonna work I want to see how this is gonna work because I am still going to have to drill out the chassis I'm still gonna have to drill out the chassis to be able to secure this onto the chassis here so I just might end up making like a template off of here or off of the chassis and putting it on here or yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And do that. The other thing that I'm also looking at, well, also, I still got plenty of work to do, but from underneath, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. So that's where I am at right now with this, guys. Um, it looks like I do have some stuff I'm gonna have to cut here to be able to get this to sit properly so that is where I am at right now with this I could actually probably pull it up a little bit if not I'll just cut the chassis a little so that's where I'm at right now with this guys um, if you guys haven't yet please hit that like button subscribe I'm going to keep branching on this Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. See you all in another video. Keep our seeing guys.